It's the last day of Ascot and the biggest race of all, the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes, with over £23,000 in prize money for the lucky winner. And many famous thoroughbreds are in the running. Hugh Lupus, number 11, Phil Drake, 12, Vimy, 13. Jockey Fred Palmer has high hopes for Phil Drake. So has Ray Johnston for Hugh Lupus. There's not much time left now. And they're off. And Doug Smith on Acropolis sets the pace from the start. Phil Drake has the double crown of the Derby and the French Grand Prix. And if Acropolis is to beat him, Doug must make the most of his mount's tremendous stamina. Arctic time, elopement, Vimy are there too. They're coming into the straight and it's still Acropolis in the lead with Arctic time and Phil Drake after him. But what's the matter with the fabulous Phil Drake? Where's the big challenge everyone's been waiting for? He seems to have shot his bolt. And now it's Acropolis, elopement, Vimy, Arctic time. And Vimy's found a gap. With jockey Roger Ponsolet up, he puts on the pressure till he's neck and neck with Acropolis. Can Acropolis hold him off? No, he can't. In a magnificent photo finish, Vimy wins by a nose. Ponsolet's lost his cap in the excitement. So England's richest race goes to France in spite of Phil Drake's failure. Says owner, Mr. Bertheimer, we'll be back for the St. Ledger.